Hello, my name's Imogen, and the next few minutes I'll be taking you through the motions of how to use a Sillet German pressure cooker. One massive advantage using a Sillet is she has five safety features within the lid. Having five uh, allows her A, to never explode, and she will release the excess steam during cooking time. I'll be now demonstrating how to cook a risotto. So add in the oil, half the butter, and wait for that to melt. Now keep in mind when cooking with a uh, sillet, five minutes on low heat builds up to medium heat. Five minutes on medium heat builds up to high. Okay, so throwing in onion, and the garlic. Very important when doing pressure cooking to always have your food prepped because it is a very fast process. Okay, so literally, when I put this liquid in, whenever you put any form of liquid, you can beef her up as high as you can go. Now keep in mind, uh, a minimum of half a cup to one cup of liquid is to be used in a pressure cooking to create the steam, okay? So I'm now going to beef her up on high. If I was at home, I would put my pressure cooker on the wok burner, but I would not have the lap flames lapping on the outside. It is important to keep the flames underneath the base, but as high as I can go. So the aim is to bring to boil as fast as I can. And now a splash of wine. Line to line, close and bring to boil and you want the lever on two. We're now hearing steam issuing. We want a, a lovely solid stream of steam issuing and then you'll have enough pressure in your pressure cooker. The ball bearing safety valve will close and she'll go deathly quiet. And when she goes quiet, there we go, the valve will start moving. I have put the lever on two. I want my valve to look like that. And when my valve gets into that position, I will then start timing seven minutes. Keep in mind, when working with different uh, recipes and different pressure cookers, when you read a recipe, it may say to you uh, risotto 10 minutes or 11 minutes. Now, if it is something longer, cooking time, you will find that they don't have one of the fastest, strongest pressure cookers. My Sillet is one of the fastest ones. Okay, what she's telling me is she's at pressure. I have the valve in position. This is excess steam. This is saying I'm too hot, please turn me down. And this is excess steam over and above 119 degrees Celsius. I'll turn her down and I want this to happen quite quickly. I want it to be very quiet and to maintain and stabilize my energy source. I can cook on electric, gas, induction, any energy source purely by listening. I don't go by numbers, I don't go by the dial, I purely go by what I'm hearing. So my role now is to make sure that that valve stays in high position. I will also start timing and off we go for seven minutes. Our timer has gone, that's seven minutes cooking at high pressure. I'm now going to show you a quick release. I turn the energy source off, move the steam away from you, and it will be a loud shh noise, and at any given time, I can close the valve. She will not allow me to open the lid because there's still pressure within the pressure cooker, which is part of her safety feature. She still won't allow me to open 
and now she will. And off we go. And I will place the last bit of the butter and half of my lovely parmesan, freshly grated. And stir that in. And that, my friends, is dinner.